Welcome back and thank you very much indeed. Portia Gabo, uh, uh, broadcaster here at TV3, has been engaging some officials of the United States and the U.S. Deputy Secretary on a Greek has been schooled on how to cook jollof, made in Ghana jollof. Take a look at this. Food is a very powerful force that binds friends, families, sometimes strangers together. And that same power of food is further cemented the relationship between Ghana and the United States of America. And to help us do the cooking as Chef Evelyn Youngson. She is a fellow of the Community College Initiative Program of the United States of America, as well as winner of the fourth season of the U.S. Chicken Cooking Competition. Thanks for your time, Chef Evelyn. Well, she's not the only one here with me also. is the U.S. Deputy Secretary of Agriculture here in Ghana, leading the trade mission. Also here with me is the U.S. Ambassador to Ghana, Stephanie Sullivan. Thanks so much for your time. So let me first begin with you, Chef Evelyn. What are you cooking for us today? Okay, so on the menu today, we have a grilled chicken uh, with jollof rice. We have mashed sweet potatoes and yeah, some. And then on the dessert, we have the tiger nut pudding. All right, take us through the ingredients. Okay. So on the table here, we have the oil, onion, we have our garlic, we have our ginger, we have fresh tomatoes here, blended actually, we have the tomato puree, we have the hot green chili, we have salt, some spices, Ghanaian mixed spices, uh, we have rice here, green beans, we have parsley vinaigrette, and we have our chicken from the United States of America. Yeah. We have our sweet potatoes, we have some herbs here, and sugar, tiger nut milk. All right, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good are your cooking skills, Mr. Sensky? I will generously give myself a 7. Oh. <laughs> I, make, I make a better sous chef than a main chef, so I'm going to feel right, un, I'm going to be under Chef Evelyn's uh, right. direction. And what's that, Sullivan? <laughs> uh, I would rate my skills as a 2. Oh. So I'm hoping to acquire some skills today from Chef Evelyn. Well, interesting. And also from the Deputy Secretary of Agriculture. <laughs> interesting choice of food, jollof rice. There's lots of debate about jollof rice and which country cooks the best jollof rice so today <laughs> <laughs> collaboration between u.s and ghana jollof so okay. let's get cooking okay so thank you guys for coming to my kitchen today can you uh, let's wash our hands first oh. and then we start the cooking Great. excellent thank you So we are actually going to share responsibilities today. So I'll have the deputy secretary do the jollof rice today, and I'll have you do the grilled chicken. Okay. okay. That sounds okay. good. Terrific. Great. So we are going to start with the jollof rice. And we are using our um, Japa cooking pot, a uh, clean cooking stove. Mm. Yes. Uh, it's locally made in Ghana, and it's really good. And we have our cooking pot here. We are going to make the jollof in this one today. So we are going to heat the pan a bit. Okay. For just a few minutes. And then we bring the ingredients. I've arranged the ingredients according to the order of importance. So we get the oil first, followed by as it goes. All right. So that it will be easier. All right, and these are very traditional uh, Ghanaian cooking pots, yes. uh, but the cleaner version of them. Yes, please. So I'm going to have you get this for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we'll first start with our oil. Yeah. And, and just add it to the yeah, pot. Cool. Not many. Some That's good? Things, yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Are you scared? Is that too much? <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> so, jollof is one of the, uh, the commonest food you can ever get in this country. Okay. So, we have our blended onions here. Blended onions, that, yeah. that always uh, tastes good. So go ahead and add them all? You can, yeah, you can add them all. All right. You know, the more onions you have in your jollof, the nicer it becomes. The, the so more flavorful the, the taste. The trick to getting the perfect jollof. It's making the perfect tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. 
Ambassador Salomon, you've tasted Ghana's dough of Savali. Oh, indeed. How would you yes. rate it? Oh, it's a 10. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, Deputy Secretary Sensky will yeah. make for us. All right. <laughs> oh, he's making jello for us. That's so good. Is it good? We already briefed him on the difference between Ghanaian and Nigerian jello. Yeah, and the debate so war I'm keeps going on. <laughs> We are going ahead to get our chicken on the grill. Okay, let, let this cook this. a little bit? Yes. Great. So you can leave this here. All right. We are in Ghana. Okay. We are behaving like Ghanaians. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have you uh, grill the chicken for us today. So on the menu, we have our chicken seasoned with the crushed ginger, garlic, some parsley, and some chili pepper. So we have the parsley vinegar here. Mm -hmm. So you can coat it a bit with it and then put it on the grill just to keep the charm and smell. Wonderful, yes. Would you like to touch so, it? Uh, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, this, I can see that it's already been marinating for some time. Yes. yes. Okay, so shall I dip it in here or shall I yeah, pour this? Yeah, just dip it in okay. there. Right. Got it. And then what's the essence of the spices that you added to this? Yeah, the main reason is uh, for the, you know how Ghanaians really enjoy good food? So you marinate it for mm. a while and allow everything to enter every part mm. of the chicken to taste good in the mouth. Mm. Okay, I don't know if we have enough room on this. Should I push it closer together? We'll just do two. For we'll me. just do two. Mm. Okay, sounds good. Put that back here. So you take it to the grill. Okay, yes. So we are doing everything. Wonderful. Okay. All right, now, uh, do I set it down? Yes. Yeah. Okay, it's not gonna get on the charcoal? No, just do it. Okay, oh great. I'm very excited about this um, cook stove <laughs> because okay. um, this kind of improved cook stove generates less smoke, mm -hmm. so the cook is gonna be healthier. And especially if there are small children around, mm. then they aren't gonna be breathing in um, as many uh, mm. Difficult and fumes. For it's their a lungs. good tool for our women, especially in rural Ghana, who use charcoal and wood fuels basically for their cooking. This is an, a healthy alternative. Absolutely, and also um, it uses less charcoal because it's so efficient, mm. and therefore it costs less money, and it takes uh, a, less of the forest being mm. turned into charcoal. So. I'm excited about this opportunity to showcase these locally mm. manufactured cook stoves. Mm. I know the second lady, um, Baumia, is very involved with the cook stove projects, yeah. and I applaud that. Do I need to stir my onion? <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we have some crushed oh, ginger yes. here, so you oh. can add just a little bit of that. Oh, this is cooking up nice. Yes, it smells good. Yeah. I think you can turn your chicken. Already? Yes. Wow, okay. Yeah, just a bit of this. Just a bit of this. Yeah. All right. Wow. Mr. Sensky, you did grow up on a corn, soybean, and diversified mm -hmm. livestock farm. Tell us about your experience. Yes, I am. Uh, I grew up on a farm, and uh, uh, corn, soybeans, alfalfa hay, as well mm -hmm. as cattle, sheep, hogs, mm -hmm. chickens, geese, ducks. So I <laughs> uh, grew up on a farm there. I have my undergraduate degree in agriculture, mm -hmm. in agriculture science, and then my master's degree in agriculture mm -hmm. science with an emphasis in uh, agriculture economics. Oh, definitely you are a friend of the farmer, aren't you? I, I am. I've been working on behalf of farmers all of my mm -hmm. life, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chef Evelyn, how far are you going? I think we are getting there. I'm getting there? Yes. All right. <laughs> right. So let that cook for a little while now. Yes, you have to let it cook for a little while. Oh. I said a perfect jello is from a perfect tomato sauce. All right. Yes. All right. So you have to have time for it. Uh, That's always with cooking, you always have to have the best ingredients, yes. right? Yes. How is that grilled chicken going? Well, it's going okay, but Evelyn, I'm a little concerned about the chicken that's on the edges that maybe it might, it might not be cooking <laughs> enough. So you know what you do? You put it half by half so you can go oh, the side I see. first. Oh, what a good when idea. It's ready, you go here. Okay. And you do it that way. So we right. have tomato puree mm. here. Mm. And you always need tomato puree to make your jello. And uh, how much of this should I add? You can add Everything. all. Add it all. Yeah. 
All right. It gives it the red color. Yeah, it gives it the red color. That's stirred up. And uh, so, so far we have the oil, we have mm. the onion, and then the tomato. And we have garlic. And garlic mm. in there, yeah, I yeah. can't forget about the garlic. Keep the, good for your health, right? Yeah. yeah. This is your second time as well in Ghana. What's your fondest memories of your first visit to Ghana? I was, uh, yes, I was here four years ago. Uh, and uh, when I was in, uh, previous role before I became Deputy Secretary of Agriculture. I was CEO of the American Soybean Association and we have a project here that we had talked about that is working with the poultry industry to develop the poultry feed industry as well as uh, to promote egg consumption here domestically. And uh, my fondest memory, I just really was struck I would say most of all by the friendliness of the people. Mm. Uh, the Ghanaian the, hospitality. The Ghanaian hospitality is wonderful and I have found that again upon my return that everyone is so friendly and welcoming. Mm. So we're looking forward to you finishing up with this jollof rice. Yes, me too. Hopefully the girls will enjoy it back home. Yes, yes, uh, I look forward to that. Yeah. Chef Evelyn, tell us about the fellowship which you won. Uh, is it a community college, community college initiative program? Oh, it's a one-year program in the United States and then they focus on five pillars, the academics, uh, volunteering, internship. Um, I think I can really remember. <laughs> yeah, you know, volunteering, yeah, action plan. Okay. So at the end of the year, when you come back home, you're supposed to do a project for your community. All yeah, right, let's check about chicken before. I've just I flipped it. it. Yeah, we almost a little more cooking on the, on the yeah. bottom side. It's oh. already very slow. And how am I doing there? Oh, you're doing it. You're getting there. You just have to cook a little bit. A little bit more? OK. Yeah. okay. okay. Mm, more tomato. And more tomato sauce? Yeah. And allow it to now, are those places. fresh pureed tomatoes? Yes. Ah, so you use both the the, the uh, like the canned tomato sauce and then some fresh pureed. Pureed tomato sauce. Ah. Mm. Just to keep that blend of taste. And it makes it uh, not quite as thick then too. Yeah. Gives it a little bit so more. So when this cook a little bit, we add our rice to it, and we're allowed to cook for a while. For how long? That depends on the, the type of rice we are using. Okay. Yeah. So we have our rice here. Mm. There's so many ways of cooking jollof rice. Some would prefer to boil the water with the tomato sauce first before adding the rice. But I prefer to add the rice to the tomato sauce to check the texture before. Ah, okay. Yeah. Found that is more successful. Yeah. So you can add a bit of the rice, and then you stir. Okay, it's looking good. I think you can add a bit of the rice to a bit, it. A bit more rice? Yes. So that's the technique of cooking jollof rice. Now, Portia, you asked me how I would rate myself on as a chef. Let me ask you, what <laughs> kind of score would you give yourself on being a chef? I'll give myself an eight. An eight? Yes, oh, I'm a very good cook. <laughs> that's a, a very good. <laughs> Maybe when I do come to the U.S., I'll, I'll, I'll visit your house and okay. then cook jollof rice for uh, you as well. Uh, all right, excellent. <laughs> so we have water here. Yeah. And you need to have the right amount of water. water. And you're just kind of eyeballing it to yes. look to see if it just comes kind of up to the top of the rice. So you uh, have to stir well to the tomatoes. Yeah. And we add a pinch of salt and season to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pinch of salt. You can keep checking it from time to time to be sure if everything is set. And you are good to go. All right. So I'm going to add the salt for you. You can stir. Okay. The 
And then what kind of spices are those? Yeah, those are locally Ghanaian spices. Local Ghanaian spices? Yeah, you can use any spice of your choice. You can use the dry parsley, okay. the dry oregano, and a bit of salt to it. Okay. Pepper. Yeah, okay. looks good. So we are going to allow it to cook okay. for a while. And we we'll leave that start. there for a while? Yes. Great. And let's check up on Ambassador Sullivan. I think the chicken is ready. Ready? Yes. Chef Evelyn, is she ready? Is she good to go? This one is very crispy already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're there. You've done well. You've mm -hmm. done amazing. Okay. But Chef Evelyn, I really want to know the secret ingredients in the marinade, because that is the, the you know, secret sauce. Okay. Can you share that with us? I can. So I have uh, in the marinade onions, I have garlic, I have ginger, I have parsley, mm -hmm. a bit of olive oil in mm -hmm. there. And um, some herbs, then mm -hmm. like the peppercorn mm -hmm. and then the black pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are all easily available. Yes. <laughs> so we waited okay. for how many minutes now? Oh, we've waited for like 10 minutes and we should oh. be ready. So we'll wait while our jollof gets ready, right? Yes, we wait while okay. our jollof. After 30 minutes, our jollof rice is ready and still here with me is Chef Evelyn, Chef Sensky, as well as Chef Sullivan. Let's check up on the jollof rice. Okay. Oh, perfect. Mm. You think I did a pretty good job? Excellent. How would you rate him now? Okay, I can give you 9.5. Oh, <laughs> wow. Being generous. <laughs> but we haven't tasted it yet, so. Yes, I'll give you 9.5, right? <laughs> okay. All right, so we'll okay. leave it on the fire for a for while and we'll go on to the desserts. desserts. What are you doing for us? Okay, I'm making a uh, tiger nut pudding hmm. for our desserts. Too. Americans love pudding a lot, and yes. there's a different version of the pudding. Oh. Very good. Look forward to tasting it. So we have with us our tiger nuts milk, which we are going to use it for pudding. So it's just a mixture of uh, rice flour and then the tiger nuts. We are going to stir this until it becomes thick. Mm. And one thing about this is that once you start stirring this way, you don't come back and stir this way. Mm. Else you spoil the, the pudding. Oh, oh so always in one direction. <laughs> so always mm. in one direction. This will be ready in just um, five minutes. You should mm. be ready. And you will love it. Mm. All right. Nice so, Evelyn, if we go to the market to buy this, these ingredients, we ask for a tadre? Yes, you ask for a tadre. <laughs> you are so cool. It has medicinal purposes as well. Yes. Yes. What does it it's, it's high in protein. Mm. It's high in protein. And you know, Ghanaians have this perception about a tadre, but it's not only that. You know. <laughs> How long will it take for it to be ready? Right five minutes. I can see it becoming thick. So mm. to be thick very soon, we add our sugar to it and we are done. Yeah. What was it like competing in the USA Poultry and Egg Export Council cooking contest? It was fun. I was a bit nervous mm. when we started it, but I saw it. When I got inside there, I realized I can do something out of it. Mm. I freaked in the first minute and I was able to create mm. something on the paper. And do it. What did you cook? I made a yam pancake. Mm. Uh, with um, cream sauce, uh, with grilled chicken, and some uh, tossed vegetables. Mm. And what's been the experience after winning the competition? Oh, you know, aside, uh, people telling me, hey, I saw you on TV, I saw you on TV. So you're a star now. <laughs> <laughs> My friends call me a celebrity chef. <laughs> Ghana celebrity chef. Yes. Mm. <laughs> What do you think the future is for Ghana's culinary arts industry? I think it's bright. There are a lot of people going into the industry and 
I can, and I'm happy I'm able to see a lot of women in the industry. Mm. Initially, we thought um, to be a chef is to be a man, and to be a cook is to be a woman. Mm. But for now, from what I saw in um, moving pick kitchen, I was impressed. There are a lot of women that here. Mm. Excellent. Mm. Excellent. Excellent. Good to hear. Ooh. It's almost ready. Almost ready. I love making this because it's easy to make. Mm. Yes, it is thickening up nice. Yes. Mm. It's really thickened up. Mm. Yep. I will need a shoe chef to continue for me whilst I grab my sugar. <laughs> Oh, boy, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> All right, keep going, same direction. <laughs> Be mindful not to turn it the other way. Okay. <laughs> Ambassador Sullivan, your chicken is almost ready now. It smells so tasty. Perfect, I, golden I'm brown looking color. forward to uh, increasing from it, too. <laughs> okay, can mm. I have mm -hmm. Oh, you are so good. So you add the sugar. Oh, you're doing so well. <laughs> I'll take positive reinforcement. That's good. <laughs> Chef Sen's key on the beans. <laughs> yes. Chef, can I help you? Wait. Sure. Faster? Oh, no. We are done. Okay, we are done. Our um, tiger nut pudding. It's ready, so we're just going to allow it to go. Okay. Yeah. And I think we are almost done with everything. So I have a question about um, traditional sayings that relate to cooking or um, kitchen or food. Are there any traditional sayings that the deputy secretary and I could learn today in the kitchen? Oh, I want to remember one. <laughs> I really want to. Is there any traditional saying about food? Like, I know food unites. Yes, and food is very powerful. Food it even powerful. unites enemies together. Mm. Bring and it's it together. a way to a man's heart is true food. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> the same taste as the sweet potato. Yes. I like that. Mm. We do have the orange sweet potato, Sarah. Mm. And our pudding. That's it. Mm. Tiger nut pudding. Tiger mm. nut pudding. Mm. It's magnificent. I think it's time great. to award Deputy Secretary <laughs> Chef Kosinski a test. <laughs> now that's an exaggeration, but I had I had good good direction. So thank you, Chef Evelyn. <laughs> Would this be a typical meal, a special meal here in Ghana? Uh, this is a lot of food. Mm. Uh, so I feel like we're eating very well here. Yeah, yeah, and jollof rice is really, really common. Is it? Not only in Ghana, but in the West African sub-region as well. Okay. There's even a debate ongoing as to which country cooks the best jollof. Uh -huh. And of course, Ghana cooks the best jollof. All right, and win, <laughs> wins, hands down. Yeah. <laughs> so it's now time to taste the dessert as well. All right. Mm. Tiger nuts, Chef Evelyn. It's still warm. Oh. It is still warm. Aya wo ti ya wo be mem ana ya e mo se se o won se nsu fita bi firi mu ba wo gun so ntentem ana ya wo gun so a na mu a che wo ti ya wo se bi wa ya se ese se wo bo brim se bi ana o prostate ana hu aba o ha wo eya na won sa na se wo na ya ye titri wa poso wa poso tutu wo na ntia na wa ye dududu eya se bi bi ni na mo widie mu e bi ana stroke ya de na e bo won kaye end point wo me pate clinic e wo nim di o de be boa wo Endpoint, our cross, Pintest Road, Shell Sign Board, Tema, Comte 22, Koana So Hotel, Echi, Kumasi Kronu Mabwenya Angel School Complex. Sakura Day, Endpoint, our Naji Queen of Peace, Inside, Anaji Police Station, Echi Pei. Techi Mine, Endpoint Homeopathy Clinic, Ewa Hensa, and Nichols Bro Filling Station, and the Dinshu Enimu. For Endpoint Homeopathy Clinic, it was 
Welcome back. How very unfair of our producers and our directors to let us watch the making of Jollof without actually giving Can us something to eat. I, I Portia know, I'm, I'm, is not I'm going to heaven. <laughs> yeah. 